previously on The Rock Racing. It's all over. Sometimes things just don't work out. So Rocky let go and smacked the bump down about three times right there. The Gold Star TV ride turns on the wind line. But it's time to move on. On to the next. Oh, Rocky saved his best for last. He's got nine thousand to work with. Back game. In fact, already got some order. What's up guys good to have you back feels great to be back myself and i hope you enjoyed that little car reveal there obviously you guys know i couldn't make something that good that was made by none other than tom gall over at gall star tv make sure you subscribe to all things gall star on youtube on facebook tom makes the best bracket racing content out there so thank you so much tom and in today's video had some requests behind the scenes that when I revealed the car, you guys want me to go through and give you a little bit more in-depth look at everything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get after it. To start off, this is a 2023 Next Gen Race Cars Dragster built by Ray Ray. Ray Miller III. This is his new brand, and this is the second one ever built. It's a 247-inch monoshock car, all-carbon car, no front suspension. The powder coat color is called Speedway Black, which is a gray with black specks in it. It came back a little bit light on the black, but I really like how it turned out. Looks really good in the sun light working back to front at the very back something i already really like is the parachute there's no tail super clean love that out of the next gen already everything rear end related the axles the brakes third member it's all mosher those guys are awesome and they helped me out with that before we go any further i gotta say a big thank you to frank kohotek he's a good friend of mine and he wired and plumbed this car he's the best at wire and plumb a car no question pay close attention as i go through this thing i'm gonna have to ask him what exactly i can actually Actually show you guys because some of this could be top secret stuff and I couldn't be more thankful for him taking the time and I'm excited to show you guys the motor it's all aluminum 615 with SR 20 heads went with an Abruzzi transmission and converter it's got the reed case like I said it's a monoshock car been seeing a lot of monoshocks lately and seems like they've been doing pretty well so we knew we wanted to get one moving up top we got a get em carburetor get em performance best customer service you could ask for Trevor Wiggins man he'll hop on a plane come work on your car for you make sure it's right been printing 449 if you've been in my area check out get them if you're in the market for a carburetor something I really like that Ray Ray added about this car is all the next gen symbols throughout it you got a few on the sides here you got one up here by the shock on the motor plate on the blow shield got one on the dash just different areas it's a subtle touch but they really look nice moving back up here we got a K&R dial board went with the complete K&R package we'll get to some of that later what I want to say about the intake me and my dad we 
sanded that thing down and we painted that. I actually had a video just about finished of us going through that process, but it had been a while since I made a post and didn't know if you guys wanted to see me and my dad working on an intake, but I'll throw in some clips. It's a nice light silver color with a little hint of blue. Thank you so much, dad. We back up just a little bit. We got a feature that I didn't know existed and that's called a dust shield. Thank you to Jeff Heffler over at Pro One Safety Products. He told me about this. They're only like 30, 40 bucks for the set. You can find them on Jegs. Cut them down to size for your wheel. I kind of sanded around the edges and taped it up. All that's left to do is trim the holes, slide it on there, slide your wheel on there, and brake dust never heard of it because you don't get any. First person I saw with these headers was Chris Galetti. Knew I had to have them and he really worked with me to make sure I got the right one. Stainless Works header with the bull horns at the end adds a little bit of down force. They got the black chrome finish and there was a big debate about those bull horns whether or not it would make the car more or less dirty and after running it it's crazy. It just keeps it super clean. I mean it took 10 runs for me to see anything on the headers. Keeps the motor area completely clean. Gets it on the wing but it pretty much just shoots the dirt straight up into the sky had to have those headers another thing i love about the next gen is the belly pan covers a big area but it's just so easy to work with and get on and off has two grooves in the front you slide it in raise it up put your zeus's just one on either side easy to get in and out really cool feature by ray ray I really like the belly pan went with a black magier water pump uh, with the tank on the pump itself for the alternator and batteries i gotta give a big thanks to donnie b over at burleson construction he really worked with me to make sure I got some good pieces there. It's a House of Pain mini volts alternator. That alternator has been really good so far. Thanks so much, Donnie B, for that. For the scoop style, I went with the 2007 Miller scoop. Taking the scoop off, looking inside the tray, we see Frank has did me up a little dummy proof wire setup where I can easily unscrew the wires if I need to take off the scoop tray. I know that's going to come in really handy. Thank you, Frank. Vacuum pumps, a Moroso. I think it's a four vein. And for the catch cans we got for the vacuum it's a motion race works and the water overflow is none other than a goza brand that's right probably one of my favorite pieces on the car i'd rather have them flipped that way we can get that goza a little bit more visible all right guys i got a few things to say about this radiator this radiator is a beast This is not the typical placement where Ray would put it. Uh, he normally puts it at the back, but me and my dad, we asked him if he could put it here. And Ray Ray, he really does whatever he can to make sure it's built just like you want it. So he put it where we wanted it, right here, laying down in front of the motor. We just think it looks a little bit cleaner right there. Then you don't have the hoses at the back around the transmission. A little bit easier to get the transmission in and out. We didn't even ask for one this big. He just put it. Ray Ray, thank you so much. Moving up to the driver's area, I really like how it turned out. Of course, we got the pullout bar. I hadn't had one of those before. For. That right there is a game changer because you know guys I'm getting old. Like I said we got the full K&R package delay box switch panel there for the steering wheel the button holder the black piece there. So that's actually from American Race Cars and I got to give a thank you to Brittany over there. She really worked with me to get that piece. I wanted that exact one. They don't sell it anymore. She had to dig for it. Looking up to the top right that's actually what's called a solid state switch. That's my power. It's not a mechanical lever. You just twist it to the right to turn it on. On, and then you just push it in turns it off the shifter that's a Biondo elite outlaw shifter really like that one I like the small handle on it for my setup on the race pack right now I got it all compact into two pages on page one I've got water oil pressure top right that's the trans temperature and then bottom right labeled cheat can't tell you what that is on the second page I got it showing battery voltage air vacuum pressure and the transmission pressure over here on the right above this switch panel there's three push buttons red one on the left's a backup button. Blue one in the middle, all that does is change pages on the race pack. And the one on the right, the white button, records my runs. If we work our way down a little bit, we got a nice spacious glove box. Down here on the pedal, that's where I have the k &R Pro Stage. We just think it looks a little bit cleaner than having it back up top by the carburetor. But under here, we got a couple of solenoids mounted. It's the air shifter and auto start solenoids. Really like how Frank did that. Good utilization of that space there. And to my right is a little guard because the fuel line is running through here we got the gas tank up front but we'll get to that in a minute the dash cover that was made by vince roberts over at ray allen race cars so thank you so much vince if we take that off we see a work of art with the wires again by frank let's just look at this for a second i don't know how he does it there's a lot of wires to run and it just looks phenomenal moving up here to the grid area and i mean <laughs> 
what is going on? Like how? There's nothing there. I'm telling you this thing will start. Back up to the batteries, reminded me of Donnie B with that help. Got those from him. They're 16 volt Go Lithium batteries. They've been very strong so far. I haven't had a single issue with that. Up here we got the solid state on off switch setup. Getting into the fuel pump. It's a MagnaFuel 500 Pro Star. This gas tank's actually pretty big. Reason for having it up front. So we were going for a little bit more weight up by the front wheels. That so far has been great. It looks really good taking off. Just barely pops that front left up and shoots straight out. A couple more things to show here at the front. Got the K&R onboard air compressor. Right here is a fitting in case we need to plug in. Air up the front tires in the lanes or what have you. The front wheels are FTD Customs. Really happy with how they turned out. They're beautiful. Blake over there at FTD was really easy to work with. Got here super fast and he was giving me lots of updates. These right here are their X15s chromed. They've been turning a lot of heads at the track. So if you're in the market for some new wheels, make sure you check out FTD Customs. And at the very front, something I really want to point out is inside of my nose cone. Ray Ray built a little bracket at the very tip in there. Slides into a groove similar to the belly pan. It's got a couple of push clamps, just two on either side. Easy to get that thing on and off. Don't have to deal with Zeus's. Really love that. This next gen car is just something else. And there you have it. The new next gen race car. Thanks to Ray Ray and Jamie Miller. Be sure you're following them over on Facebook for all of their updates. And guys, I know the car is not painted yet. Haven't had time. Uh, we were thinking about doing it over the winter, but it's kind of crazy. Most people are voting that they like it better black. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, painted or black. So I'm, I'm torn right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I do know that I want to thank you guys because, believe it or not, without you guys... There's no chance that this car is here right now. Everyone who's a subscriber likes the videos, comments on the videos. Most people just watch the video, but it doesn't matter which one of those you are. Every one of you has played a role in this car being here right now. Love you guys so much. Can't wait to get this thing onto the track and get some more racing vlogs out for you guys to watch. That's going to do it for this one. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And as always, remember, don't take too much stripe. And if you ain't getting there, cut them loose. <laughs>